How's it going, everybody? IceRooper31 here, and it's time for episode number 13 of my FIFA 15 Manager Mode series with Everton. And if you watched the last episode, well, first of all, Happy New Year. Second, uh, if you watched the last match against Man U, we lost 1 0, unfortunately. And I got a little snubbed in the press because Samuel Eto'o, who got injured in the first game of the season, was actually cleared to play, but he's not 100% fit yet. Uh, so I decided to sit him out still because he just got the clear to play, but I was, I, was, I thought we'd be okay without him. But apparently the media has been kind of harping me that, oh, I should have had him played. I don't think he would have made a difference. But uh, that's just that little news feature going on. Uh, other than that, the major story coming out of the Everton camp this week, or for this game, is we have quite a bit more people unhappy with the team. I got a lot of content on happy. I am losing the locker room fast. <laughs> it's not looking good. So we need a turnaround of fortune now. Because I'm going to get sacked, but this team's going to throw me out. So right now we have a our third Europa League match around the Thursday night football. <laughs> oh. And um, we're on the road at Florentina, which is probably it's, it's a top of the table clash. So it should be a good match. Uh, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So wish me luck, guys, and I'll see you on the pitch. And welcome to welcome Italy to uh, of the for Euro our League. third matchup Today in our Europa Europa League uh, group stage. Of course, the lights are beaming down this evening. So, without further ado, as you can see, we're both top of the, the, top the table. They're on top of us with full difference, but Smith. huge matchup could uh, shape who's going to win the league here. Definitely. Yeah, looking forward to this. I think both sides have shown glimpses of what they can achieve this year. So, could be some goals. And Santa's going to be some goals today. Well, Let's hope so. I need some goals. Sure their last struggling. game was an away defeat against Manchester United. Yeah, the one 0 defeat scoreline doesn't tell the whole story. And yeah. Better than that. I think yeah, they say we're better than that loss against Man U. We'll get a draw here today. That's what they're saying. Fiorentina's lineup for you. Uh, Florentina, I believe they're running the four-four-two narrow diamond formation. So kind of like Man U. So. Hopefully we can uh, defend it a little better. I don't think they're as, as good a team as Man U. I mean, they have Mario Gomez. Have good one change. Tim uh, starting we goal. also went Sheamus to a 4-4-2, uh, more like a 4-1-3-2. But uh, uh, Osman and Bessic are playing along with Kone because replacing Samuel Eto, uh, who's injured. Bat, just we still have guys on bat form, so I'm gonna give some other guys a chance to play while I try to get their form back up. Eto is available for this match. He's after I took a drubbing in the media for not having him in on the bench last game, but he is available if I need him. Hopefully, I won't. I think I'll be all right with Lukaku and Kony up top. Benoit, Benoit Talad. I butchered that French name. As we get ready for kickoff in uh, Italy, they get a free kick here in the third minute here. Ball's whipped into the box. Rossi gets ahead to it and just Rossi hits the top of the crossbar. The hit the top of the bar. Dangerous first attack there by uh, Florentina. As you see the replay, just had Howard beat. And there we go. We're down the ring here. Eight minutes in. Kone cuts Kone. inside. He's got an open shot. Oh, he misses to Lukaku to his feet, but he misses. Lukaku could not finish that. Very good chance. Okay, there's Mario Gomez on the wing. He cuts inside, lays it back. Aquain just wide to the right. Trying to go look like top right corner, but that was just sailing wide. Not even close. 21st minute, Gomez playing it into the box. Rossi's free in the box, lays it off. Oh, big save by Tim. And now they're still in the box. Florentina trying to do something, but no. Nope. Here, 24th minute. Pascal down the wing. Looking to cross it in. Gets a shot on target, and it's cleared. Tim. Strong in net. 
Florentina continuing the attack here in the 29th minute. Gomez down the wing, lays it off. They pass it up to the top of the box. Valero takes a shot. Ooh, just going wide. And here's a uh, reminder of what the next episode, episode 14, as we put Burnley on the road. Florentine now in the 34th minute, down the wing, passes the ball the in. Stones Trying tries to clear it, doesn't Gomez. do well. Florentina has got Rossi, lays it off to and He's got a wide open shot. Tim matches the big another Tim big save by Tim. Now that will be a corner. There's the replay. Wonderful strike. Tim up, was up for it. Tim has been playing so well today. And that will do it for halftime. Well, Obviously, Florentina taking it to us a little bit. But um, we had maybe a couple chances, but well, nothing to sneeze at. Only the real one chance by Coney and Lukaku in the box. It's nil-nil here, and we're heading to halftime, which isn't bad. Quick look at around the league. I believe uh, Potsan and Lutheran are drawing nil-nil as well. Quick look at the stats. Uh, as you can see, Osman's not playing very well, but uh, Tim's playing pretty good in that. Coleman took that knock late in the first half, so I brought in Hibbert for his uh, debut here in the Europa League. There goes Kone. Kone steals the ball, takes a shot. Oh, not on target. Oh, man. The shots were getting good looks at net, but we're just not putting it away. There we go. Lukaku gets the ball here, 54th minute. Pinar passes it into Osman, and Osman gets fouled in the box, and that is a penalty. For the second straight Europa League game, we get a penalty here. Savic, Gibson made the run, gets into the box, takes the poke, and just gets an elbow to the chin, falls down. And so now Leighton Baines will get to step up here to take the penalty. He's definitely our best uh, penalty taker. He's one for one so far. Can he make it two? He lines up, and it's another goal. His second of the Europa League season. He's doing very well in the Europa League competition, but just like that, we take the lead on the road. Huge for the huge momentum swing right now. He's laced it and it's blown into the left side. And there you go. Keeper, keeper had really nothing good. for it. Top left Coming corner. Up another look at it, Alan. That will show us something. Beautiful strike by Baines. Baines is excited. That's his second Europa League goal of the season. And I think it's the second overall in the season as well. So, the penalty in the 56th minute has definitely changed the game. Uh-oh, look at Jack Yelka. Wonderful with a nice interception there off the line. Lukaku down the wing and with some space. Lukaku tries to cut inside. Tries to cut back, but is fouled in the back. The and that will be a Benoit yellow card Tyad. to Richards. He's been shown a yellow card. Yeah, and I think that was a simple one, actually, for the ref. He was right on top of it. Kind of a weak foul, but he did come in from behind as Lukaku was trying to hold up the ball. And just getting mauled there. There he goes. Oh, turnover in the midfield. Florentina on the attack. Looking for some space. Kirktik. That lays it off to Gomez. Gomez, Gomez holds it up back to the other side with Matis. Oh, nice little one-two from Rossi. Kirtek. Oh, he hits the post. Love the little build-up there by Florentina. As you can see, he takes the replay, he takes a shot, and just falls down in disgust as he tried to go finesse near post. 69th minute. Uh, another yellow card by Aquilin. I didn't get to see where he did it. It was during the run of play. He, as you see, he dives in at Pinar's feet. Uh oh, here comes Richards again. He crosses the ball in. There's Aquilin. Oh, the header just going wide here in the 75th minute. There's the replay. He gets all of it, but it was not even close to target. Florentina are definitely pressing at this point in the game, trying to equalize, but we're holding strong. They make their substitution. 
Bubba Carr coming in for Rossi. Here in the 78th minute. We're going to make a substitution. I'm bringing McCarthy for Bessick. Bessick played all right today. I was really pleased with how he's been giving, getting the most of his opportunity, but McCarthy's coming in to help cheer up the defense. And still no action here in the 83rd minute as <laughs> another Florentia substitution. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name. The losing team have got to do something, and this is it, the substitution. I believe we'll make a substitution here as well. Yep, Gareth yes, Berry's going to come in for in Osman. Uh, Osman didn't have a great game, now. I don't think. That's where Except he did get the penalty. At the moment. But I'm going to bring in Barry yeah, again, sure up the defense own, in the midfield, no, gets a fresh leg. His full attention was poor, he gave it away too much. There we go, Pino, the stoppage time. And that is the whistle, we were able to hold off. And a huge the win on whistle. the road again. Great example here getting great wins on the road here in the Europa the League. As we come to Italy, we take the three points and we take the lead in the Europa League group stage at the halfway point, which is huge for us. Hopefully, this helps with the momentum. Quick look at the stats. They outshot us pretty much 13 to 7. Had a lot of good shots on target. Possession was dominated by them. Uh, passing again we were a little bit poor on the passing end of the spectrum but hopefully we can turn that around the next match quick look at who played well uh, Tim Howard obviously man of the match uh, another one to note was Jagielka played well I mean the back line did play pretty well Tibbert did play all right he played okay considering he came on as a second half sub Morales played well but anyway guys this is where I'm gonna end it so, uh, until next time, this is ICU Reaper 31 signing off.